How is Jackie Spear when you're there? She's alive. Very glad to be alive. Every time I go back to that she moment, her, her I thank God that I'm still alive because there's no reason why I am alive. Bay Area Congresswoman Jackie Spear was just 28 years old. She was an aide to Congressman Leo Ryan. They went to investigate claims of abuse and people being held against their will in Guyana by cult leader Reverend Jim Jones. These lovely people are all happy. None of them want to return. They're delighted with this lovely life. But his followers weren't going to let the congressional delegation, including journalists, leave alive. They were ambushed as they were boarding their plane. And then Ryan uh, started to run. And so then I ran um, under the plane. And as I was running, he was hit once. And then he was hit again and fell. And I just ran to one of the wheels and tried to hide there, pretending I was dead. She was shot five times, including a bullet to her back. It was like a... Um, semi had just rolled over my body. The impact, I think the first thing that I felt was the impact. Um, and then I looked onto my right side and there was, my right arm was, was blown up and there was a, a bone sticking up. We were on that airstrip for 22 hours without medical attention. She was finally airlifted to America where she would undergo at least 10 surgeries. You still have shrapnel in your body? I do, I have two bullets still. Um, and then shrapnel as well. Shortly after the attack on the congressional delegation in Guyana, more than 900 men, women, and children died after Jim Jones ordered them to drink a cyanide-laced beverage. Spear says the children and infants were injected with the poison. I always get my hackles up when People say it was a suicide. Those people were murdered. They had believed the promises by Reverend Jim Jones that he would lead them to a better life as members of his church, the People's Temple. He was powerful and charismatic. He had a reputation in the community for being able to bring uh, uh, peacefulness and harmony to people who were very poor and very frustrated. Reverend Jones was close to prominent leaders in San Francisco government, in spite of complaints against him and by people who wanted to leave his church. I knew that he was an unstable person and was concerned about that trip and said to Congressman Ryan, are you sure we should be going? You know, he had the sense that he would be protected. There's some people here who believe that this is the best thing that ever happened to them in their whole life. And Jim Jones chastised anyone who complained about him. People play games, friend. They lie, they lie. What can I do about lies? The painful truth is that Congressman Ryan was shot more than 40 times. More than 400 People's Temple members are in a mass grave at Oakland's Evergreen Cemetery. That includes children. A simple tombstone marks their remains. Spear found a way to survive emotionally. She appreciates all she's been given after her brush with death and the Jonestown massacre. I have lived a very full life. I have had lots of highs and a fair number of lows, but I'm very lucky because of my, my family, my friends, and my faith. Cheryl Jennings, ABC 7 News.